In this video, I explain MCQ's questions about sampling and sampling distribution. But if you are new on my channel, Statisticians Club, please subscribe the channel. Question number one. A population of concrete units like plants, households, players is called existent population, hypothetical population, target population. Right answer is existent population. Question number two. A population consists of all conceivable ways in which an event can occur. Conceivable ways means any event which comes from thought. So, we have three choices, existent population, hypothetical population, sample population. The right answer is hypothetical population. Question number three. A population from which a sample is chosen. Sampled population, target population, finite population. The right answer is sampled population. So any population from which we draw a sample is called sampled population. Question number four. The basic purpose of sampling is to provide sufficient information about characteristics of population without examining every unit. Number two, to find the reliability of estimates derived from sample. Number three, both one and two. The right answer is both one and two. So these two choices are the basic purpose of sampling distribution. Question number five. We find reliability of sample estimate by standard error of statistic, standard error of population, standard deviation, standard error of statistic because the term statistic derived from samples. So if we want to find the reliability of sample estimates, so we get reliability from standard error of statistics. Question number six. Advantages of sampling are the right answer is above one and two. So these two are the right choices. Sampling saves money, time and energy. These three are the advantages of sampling and also sampling provides information that is almost uh, as accurate as obtained from complete census. Question number seven. Sampling is essential in when measurement process physically damages or destroy the sampling units under investigation when population appears to be infinite or inaccessible. Number three, one and two. So one and two is the right choices under these two conditions sampling is essential when sampling units physically destroyed are damages. For example, in a factory, we check the lifetime of the bulbs manufactured. So we take a sample and apply the procedure on this sample because after experiment, the unit will be destroyed. So we cannot do this procedure on the whole population. When population appears to be infinite, in case of infinite or inaccessible cases, we perform sampling. This is the necessary for us to take sample in such situation like infinite or inaccessible situation. So the right choices is one and two. Question number eight. A definite statistical plan concerned with all principal steps taken in the selection of sample and estimation procedure. Sample survey, sample design, 
sampling frame. The royal case is sample design. Term has been defined as a mean of collecting information to meet a definite need. Survey has been defined as a means of collecting information to meet a definite need. Because if we have a target or plan to get some information, so we do this with the help of surveys. We take survey about such situation. Question number 10. When a survey is carried out by a sampling method, it is called sample survey, survey, sampling frame. The right answer is sample survey. Question number 11. A complete list or map that contains all the sampling units of population is called sampling frame, sample survey, sample design. The right choice is sampling frame. Sampling frame is the complete list or map that contains complete sampling units. Question number 12. Sampling methods are classified as probability sampling, non-probability sampling, both 1 and 2. The right choice is both 1 and 2. Sampling method is classified into probability sampling as well as into non-probability sampling. Question number 13. When each unit has a non-non-zero probability of its being included in the sample, the sampling is said to be probability sampling, non-probability sampling, none of these. The right choice is probability sampling. When each unit in a population has a equal probability of being its select, so such sampling is probability sampling. Question number 14. And other name of probability sampling is other name of probability sampling is random sampling. Question number 15. Types of probability sampling are Simple random sampling and stratified random sampling, systematic sampling and cluster sampling. So these are four are the types of probability sampling. So both one and two is the right choice. Simple random sampling, stratified random sampling, systematic sampling and cluster sampling um, are the types of probability sampling. If you want to see videos on MCQs about inference, MCQs about probability and normal distribution, then click the link in front of your screen. Thanks for watching.